Hello my friends and welcome to a new video for Infinity Kingdom. This is Biakian, official Bruce officer. And we came back for the playlist that uh, we are talking about Immortal Synergy. And for this time we are going to talk about the lightning element. And the lightning element is this element. And this is not the perfect marsh I'm using because this is kind of my third marsh. I'm going to talk about the lightning element as a primary march so uh, as we used to know or as we used to talk about the element should be uh, dependent on the dragon because you are going to have the power from your immortals depending on your dragon especially your dragon talent uh, as we talked before just a recap about the fire dragon and what are the skills you are going to use with the fire dragon because the fire dragon boosts the crit value and uh, some dodge value also the talent will provide you with some critical chances or critical damage increase so that's why you, you are going to build your immortals with this dragon uh, with critical uh, chances or critical damage on the skills and with the immortals for the lightning dragon let's talk about the original skills it causes 900,000 true damage. This is with level 10 skill. This is not a talent. This is level 10 skill. If the target is stunned, the damage will be doubled. So here is a massive true damage and an extra uh, extra addition with the skill that the target has to be stunned. So we have to use an immortal that causes stunned uh, or causes stuns to the enemy teams in the early match. Uh, the other skill is uh, has a 90% chance of reducing the normal attack damage of 3 random enemy units by 70% for 12 seconds. So this is only going to affect the normal attack. Uh, and normal attacks uh, by 90% sorry, uh, by 90% chance for 70% uh, damage reduction. So uh, the damage reduction for 12 seconds for normal attacks will benefit so much better against for example mixed marshes or versus mortals like alexander and haribal or the marshes like this so the lightning element or the lightning dragon with some other immortals will benefit more facing these couple of dudes that keep ruining every marsh in the ik history uh, so right now we are going to stand for the last skill uh, in battle, all of your immortals get 30% crit value and 30% dodge value. So this is the same as the fire dragon first thing here, crit value and dodge value. So we're going to get the same thing. But in addition, for each debuff cast on the enemy by your immortals, all your lightning immortals get 3% damage up to 5 stacks. So with every debuff on uh, the enemy team you cast you will get three percentage more damage up to five stacks so that means it's going to be 15 percentage more damage for every debuff so for every debuff lots of things will uh, work as debuffs like for example some auras here uh, works as debuffs like let me show you here paralysis will work as a debuff on the battle starts reduces the attack speed of the all of enemy units so this is a debuff and this is also a debuff once the battle starts reduce the accuracy rate of all the enemy by 20 percentage also there is another thing here is a debuff which is caution caution once the battle starts reduces the dodge rate of all of enemy units by 20 percent so using three auras that debuffs the enemy march or four auras on your lightning march is a thing why because you're going to get more increased damage and that's not all uh, or everything because also if we see hammurabi here and hammurabi is the only magic damage dealer in the lightning march uh, you will see his ultimate skill summon the code of hammurabi and cast the judgment to all enemy units inflicting magical damage Every negative effect on the enemy team unit have uh, will cause the damage rate to be increased also by 15%. And for Hammurabi, auras also will work for him. And 
we should put immortals in this element first of all to put in mind that we need immortal that causes stun and an immortal if if necessary can do debuffs or we can just depend on the debuffs from the auras as i just show you some of the auras will cause debuffs and some of them will not cause debuffs like shelter shelter is just protecting your uh ally team and we have let me uh, open the troops and here we can like get rid of everything and instead of hammurabi because as i told you in the uh, fire element we need a magic damage dealer because magical damage dealers are the only dealers or the only damage dealer that provides massive amount of damage also the front row uh, defensive is almost blocking every physical damage like for example i used richard and richard is an immortal that has a massive physical defense compared to his uh where is resilience here his resilience is high because i'm using a resilience artifact but for example i'm using Tarajan with physical defense uh, bonus or physical defense artifact so his physical defense will be higher his resilience so that's why I recommend using physical defense when you need physical defense artifact and use resilience value because the front row immortal uh, resilience uh, rate will and resilience value is low. That's why the magic damage will be hitting like a rock on these defense arrow. So we were talking about Hammurabi and we need a magic damage in our lightning march. This is high end uh lightning march and let's sort it by lightning uh i knew for sure that peter the great is an immortal that deals debuffs uh, <coughs> sorry casts debuffs purifies the enemy target uh directly ahead dispelling all the buffs and inflicting physical damage rate for the enemy so the damage rate for uh peter the great is massive 555 uh or we can say 55 a uh, tenth a percentage for uh the damage for directly ahead so he will hit the immortal in front of him and the immortal also in the back row and spilling the buffs they have so it will cost as a debuff so we can use beater as a debuff to uh have the damage increased from the dragon and the damage increased from hammurabi ultimate itself for uh, every negative effect we can uh get rid of beta right now we had uh, a lightning immortal that came newly Darius Darius the Great is a good immortal but uh, he has a weakness same as Peter we will talk about these negatives after we finish his ultimate skill inflicts physical damage to all enemy units and the uh, uh, damage is 360 with 50 percentage chance is going to be up to 30 percentage chance to reduce their physical damage by 30 percentage with additional 30 percentage reduction on the first cast of this skill so the first cast of this skill will uh, have 60 percentage chance to reduce the physical damage it will be perfect if you are using uh, darius alongside with jinkies if jinkies has a, dam a damage skills and you're going to use jinkies just to um, cause more damage rather than uh, having uh, an support skills like assist and absolute defense to protect Hamurab. Uh, so Jinkies and Darius will deal damage depending on the uh, Darius ultimate skill but the weaknesses for Darius that he want protection. Protection uh, like what? Like Tokugawa shields. So this is kinda a good uh, so this is kinda a good marsh. Why would this be a good marsh even though uh, none of these immortals may seem to uh, cause debuffs because I didn't talk about Jinkies ultimate skill. Jinkies ultimate skill inflict physical damage and causes wound enemy uh, can't be healed. This is uh, considered as a negative effect and the ultimate negative effect dealer in the history of Infinity Kingdom is Tokugawa. Tokugawa skill kinda tricky but Tokugawa skill against Mixed Marshes or uh, against Alexander, against Hannibal is like a toxin barrier in his uh, ultimate skill without dealing damage. For Tokugawa ultimate skill grants all ally units with shields that absorb physical damage. The, absorb the 
uh, absorption rate is 300 uh, percentage for six seconds tokugawa himself gain a thunder array every time he receives a normal attack he will apply a random negative effect damage received increased uh, by 10 percentage so the enemy march uh, or the enemy march will receive uh, more 10 percentage damage and damage decreased his main damage for the enemy march will decrease not the enemy march on the immortal so it will be random on the uh, immortals for all the enemy team so when hitting tokugawa with alex hannibal might be affected with these with these negative effects that's what i wanted to say the attack speed is decreased by 10 percentage energy region speed decreased by 10 percentage on the attacker for six seconds uh sorry it's not going to be random it's going to be only for the attacker so uh this is going only to be affected for the attacker sorry i miss uh, understood i should have read it to the last uh word so all these negative effect will be for the attacker so if uh alex for example kept attacking tokugawa he will get these negative effects for himself and whenever he hits he will keep getting these negative effects randomly between all of these uh, random negative effects. But he will hit himself with decreased damage and decreased attack speed and also increase the damage he receives. But the shields here will protect Darius. And for my uh, theory, I don't like Luis because Luis deals uh, magical damage and I keep trying him and he's uh, like... His ultimate skill doesn't seem like working with me. I might be using Luis wrong, but uh, for the ultimate uh, skill to use the dragon uh, first skill is to use someone that stun. And the only immortal that stuns in the lightning march is Richard. Richard inflicts a physical damage on the enemy target within a certain range and it has 40% chance of stunning them so that they cannot move or recover energy for four seconds so this is a massive because because with the exclusive artifact for richard this becomes 60 percentage chance you might use adrenaline rush that skill here adrenaline rush on richard and it will make richard stun all the enemy marsh keep stunning them for like uh, ages we need to see a reboard that i had to use my lightning marsh I need like at least uh this might be better but here alex won't be stunned because he is using his ultimate uh exclusive artifact but we will see the damage from the uh, lightning dragon here uh, my lightning dragon dealt 4 million damage so none of the enemies were stunned or just one of them we need another fight without having my uh lightning versus mixed we need another cases because here we need to see the damage from the dragon with the lightning okay this is lightning versus lightning so might richard applied stun on these immortals and nope i didn't stun any of them <clears throat> i'm sure i had a rebirth here but i don't know why i don't have uh Anyway, uh, the dragon damage will be uh, up to 7 million when applying stun, but all of <laughs> all of the server is playing mixed right now. And Richard won't apply stun on Halibur or Alex because they have an exclusive artifact. So that's why we can apply like here. We can use Adrian Rush on Richard and apply another. Uh, here, let's use energy suppression on uh jinkies and then instead of this let's use adrenaline rush here and now we can we are ready to go whereas we don't need to lose an attack so here we need to make sure that we are going to fight fair and square and we should use richard in front of yep are ready to go and okay now we can see the attack and check if my lightning here what are the damage it didn't deal any damage anyway maybe my richard didn't stun i don't know <laughs> let's see the replay 
Maybe my Richard didn't stun any of them. But all what I wanted is Richard to use his ultimate skill before the dragon uses his ultimate skill. I don't know how my Richard couldn't uh, use his ultimate skill. Maybe he got stunned. Maybe. He, they are stunned. Himiko, Tokugawa, and Elsid. We have three immortals that are stunned. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. I got it now. They got stunned and the dragon... The dragon attacked, but the damage didn't come, maybe because Tokugawa used his ultimate skill. Maybe. We need to repeat this. We need to repeat this, guys. Because Tokugawa shields are massive. So let's replay and let's fast forward and let's check Tokugawa. Did he use his ultimate skill before Richard? He didn't. He didn't, but the, the enemy march didn't receive any damage from me. We have Tokugawa stunned, Himeko stunned, and Elsid stunned. Anyway, this is lightning versus lightning, but this is a different type of lightning because he's using Himiko instead of Hammurabi. Himiko is a good thing versus mages because Himiko counters every mage. Uh, she is a good use in the earth march. I don't like Himiko in the lightning march, even though he seemed that he won versus me because he has uh, good skills on Himiko but if you uh, clicked on the ranking his lightning march is kinda as a first march so dealing all of this damage with my lightning march is a thing and he is using Ilsid and Tokugawa to counter the mixed marshes like this and Himiko to counter mages like fire marshes but uh, this is kinda like doing all in one march and that doesn't work to counter mixed marshes and the mages at the same time he will be uh, surviving for a couple of minutes but the other marshes he has like his mixed marsh is not strong at all and his fire marsh will not be also strong at all since the perfect skills are for the lightning marsh and here uh, this is how he can be lose but for this, I don't know why my Lightning Dragon didn't deal damage, since my Richard used his stun on him. Maybe he blocked the damage with his uh, Cracking Thunder, the Tokugawa uh, ultimate skill. We don't want to uh, make it any uh, longer for this video, but we didn't talk about everything yet, so let's uh, go shortly for the other Immortals. Uh, we didn't talk about YSJ and Elsid, uh, why I left them for the back row. Because this formation for my lightning dragon, I don't like it. And I don't like the double defensive row immortal for the lightning dragon. I prefer perfectly Tokugawa for the lightning march, but I'm not using him. Even though his shields and negative effect are super, super broken. I'm using right now Bjorn. Uh, Bjorn provides uh, some damage for... Uh, not damage from himself, but his ultimate skill provides uh, some damage increasement for my Hammurab. Because his ultimate skill creates uh, a scorched earth under your feet that lasts 9 seconds and increases the damage dealt to the enemy team within uh, by 20%. At the same time, our units gain 25% physical attack as life steal. That's for the front row. And our front row team's resilience rate is increased by 30%. And he has like a damage increased by 20% also. And the resilience is going to be increased by 30%. So he provides for the front row uh, like some uh, defensive with their defensive stats. And provides for Hammurabi to deal more damage with ultimate skills. And of course Jinkies, but I'm, use I'm not using Jinkies skills as damage. Uh, so the perfect thing here for lightning, if you are going to use lightning as your main marsh, if you face tons of uh, mixed marshes and earth marshes, I encourage you to use Elsid alongside with Tokugawa and just ignore Richard's stuns. Richard's stuns will provide you 2 million damage or 3 million damage as maximum from the dragon, but Tokugawa and Elsid will block every normal attack and apply negative effect and apply damage on the attacker since Elsid ultimate skill will do the same thing here 
as reducing the physical damage inflicted on your front row by 30 percentage and if you're using physical shield you are going to make them suffer and cry their <laughs> cry their uh, pains and when they are targeted by normal attacks there is 65 percentage chance it will be up to 100 percentage when using his ox exclusive artifact of inflicting physical damage on the enemy uh, team so you are going to make an enemy team suffer from physical damage when targeted by normal attacks on Ilsid and also on Tokugawa targeted by normal attacks will cause him to uh, apply negative effect and a negative effect will increase the damage from Hammurabi and also the debuffs uh, from the dragon third skill will provide you with extra damage so this is the ultimate uh, lightning march I can say that you can use it as versus maxed marshes, earth marshes and even versus some of the holy marshes like second marshes for holy but uh, for like holy marshes with Loki for as main marshes I prefer you can use Peter the Great because Peter can target Loki uh, without killing the first immortal that's for the lightning element guys I know this series is super super long because we are going to talk about all the immortals and how the immortals can work together but we are going to have a synergy between the immortals making and uh, like yin and yang for the Chinese symbol to provide more damage from the front row with the uh, third row providing all the mix together we can for the lightning dragon because it's complicated some of the skills will work with stun but providing stuns only from one immortal as uh, Richard is not good thing but it is a great thing if you are using this as a third march like me I'm not depending on the synergy for, because I'm using the skills on other immortals so I don't want to ruin my main march and second march that's why I'm not using Tokugawa and Delsid but I will try it in the future and show you some uh, reports that's all for this video big the suitable uh, immortals for your case don't copy other immortals from whales or like don't see my main march uh, sorry my lightning march and do it as your main march use the immortals as I showed you as this synergy and the flow big the immortals that I described it the most will uh, benefit your cases and thank you all for watching see you soon